Well, apparently. Apparently she's been a bitch to me! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I see hashtag save Misty or, ha or whenever someone says uh, Opaline is abusive to Misty, I'm like, wait, who's abusing me? What? Oh, and, but then I have... <laughs> Because I'm Misty Phantom, and apparently this new character is Misty something, but... <laughs> Oddly enough, she's become my favorite character in the show. Biased. Zip. Zip all the way. Zip. Zip storm. Ah. Uh, full health. I love what Magical Star says. Opaline is a bigger bitch than Kyle's mom. <laughs> what did I think of Barney the dinosaur? You mean the big purple one with the green belly? And no, I'm not talking about Spike. Yes. <laughs> I used to love watching D uh, Barney when I was little. I think they're asking that because there's a documentary that there was a huge huge hatred surrounding uh, Barney. Well, apparently Barney used to spread propaganda and there were allegations that the guy in the suit was a pedophile, but I, I, I've heard no proof of this, so I don't Wait, well, believe it. This is news to me. Wait, what? What did I just come back to? Apparently, the guy who was in the Barney suit was accused of being a pedophile and sexually assaulting some of the kids that were on the show, but I, I've seen no proof. I have only heard rumors. I think the, I feel like it is rumors simply because, oh, he's a children's, you know, he's a children's host, therefore there's probably some shadiness happening. And, of course, the fact that so many people hated Barney that they'll literally make up anything just to ruin somebody. Yeah, that Barney doesn't well. ruin Barney doesn't ruin anyone else's uh, anyone's mind any worse than something like the Smurfs, and yeah, people no. accuse the Smurfs of being represent representatives of the KKK. Folks, this is what we call canceling, isn't it yeah. stupid? Also, yeah. Also, what? There are people yeah. out there who have accused the Smurfs of that. Yes, unfortunately, because the Smurfs are all dressed in white, except for Papa Smurf, who is dressed in red, and in traditional KKK fashion, the leader of a group of KKK members is usually dressed all in red to symbolize his power. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> yeah, so... Y another rumor is they were a symbolism of communism. Uh, so many people would be willing to pull like the what you have looked in on is Misty ruins your childhood. When when are our childhoods never ruined? <laughs> exactly. Do you want to start a cult with me? I mean, my childhood was almost like practically ruined uh, with the Lion King because oh, the Lion King ripped off Kim with the White Lion. Just, oh God! Just you think, uh, just you think, uh, you could lose more faith in humanity. You just can't make this shit up. Yeah. <laughs> People are crazy. We, we can pretty much. Point God that. is great. Beer is good, and people are crazy. Yeah. Also, uh, also dice clipped a. Uh, uh, clipped Misty Mistaken Identity. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dice, clip me uh, ruining everyone's childhood. <laughs> Kalina East? What the hell is Kalina East? Wait, is this in a different language again? Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm Jeez. guessing it's the Eastern Hills. Before the truth will set you free, it'll piss you off. Mattel ruined my childhood. Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> da, 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 da. Hello, who else joined? I am back. Oh, oh hello, Riley. Riley. Hello, Riley. I said BRB. Hey, I was in the restroom, so... 
You're always in the restroom. Oh. Oh my. What are you doing always in the restroom? Getting some stress out? <laughs> that is not the good... Dude, that is a... That is such a gross place to get shit like shit off come. of you. God no. damn it, Riley! <laughs> you fucking sick bastard. I get no. like... I get like... Okay, not even... Like, not so much as PTSD, but I get just more of an irritation every time I hear that clip. I was telling the story when I encountered that nasty flying infestation, and I was using uh, the cu uh, like coming word, and then in midway in the sentence he plays that fucking clip. Like what the hell, dude? <laughs> hey, Riley does it because he knows it gets on your skin. Well, it's a funny clip in general. I mean, I suppose. Before the truth will set you free, it'll piss you off. Oh, yes, I clipped up par. Question guy, when have you not clipped anything? You're the one who's having to do all the work. Poor guy overworks himself. I... Yeah. <laughs> he just likes the clip. I know he likes the clip, but it's sad that he's doing all the work and, like, there's hardly a few other people, do, like, doing it. Like, at this well... point, like, it's come, like, I've come to a point where, like, whenever I make him those compilation clip reels... For whoever the clipper is, I just put an equestrian guy because most of the time, equestrian guy, equestrian guy, equestrian guy, equestrian guy, because nobody else is doing it. <laughs> or when somebody else does it, they don't bother to name their clip. It just says Golden Fox plays, Golden Fox plays. It's like, just name your clip. Be creative. Yeah. How do you spell the oh. Also, here's a new clip for you. What? Oh, hold on. It didn't work. <laughs> I missed the joke. <laughs> You silly I, goober. You failed. I, I failed. So you take two. Oh, Jesus. God damn it. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to have to turn that all the way down. My ears were fucking, like, ringing. Yeah, ouch. <laughs> I put the speaker right towards that fucking mic. God damn. I wanted to make sure you heard it. Oh my god, Misty, that's so evil, but I'm not surprised. And it's so easy when you're evil. This is the life you see, the devil tips his hat to me. I do it all because I'm evil. Get off me, stupid. And I do it all for free. His tears are all the pay I'll ever need. Your tears are all the pain I'll ever need. If that was, uh, fuck, uh... I had a feeling something was off about that. Voltaire, Voltaire, that's the name. Yes. Misty is squishable. So are you. <laughs> and you let me squish that booty. <laughs> <laughs> Def, you kind of bring this, like, on yourself, and you know her what her orientation is. It's, uh... What is it? Yes. I'm demi pansexual. Like, demi pan demi sexual. That's what it was. Yeah. I'm demi pansexual. Yeah. I'm still like trying to get like get the hang of like different sexual identity names. Like it's it, it's it like time. it's it's yeah it takes time. Well, to make sense of mine, I'll fuck anything that wants to fuck me, but I need an emotional connection first before it means anything. Which yeah, you're not going on cool. Tinder and that kind of shit. Ah. I I've never been interested in Tinder. Same. Plus, considering all the horror stories I've heard of Tinder, yeah, no. Tinder? Uh, hey, you, you want to get in my van? No. Nope. I don't okay. want to. I don't want to go on Tinder. I don't need Tinder. I have an editor. An editor on that? Tinder. <laughs> no. Nope. Oh, Riley, that, please. That a... Editor is better than Tinder. He's got Editor. the he's got the Namavo coffee deep. Yum, 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 yum. Aww. Wait, no, I'm... not coffee. Earl Grey. I'm coffee. Which is, be which is better than coffee. Yum, 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 yum. Fair. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want to numb your booty. Yeah. Dang, I'm so I jealous. I want to numb on your wings. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> okay, be honest, Steph. You fucking enjoy that shit, don't you? He's hey. a masochist. Yes, yes, I am. Aha! No, he's not a masochist. He's a bottom. Oh, that's, that's silence, bottom. I mean, Wolfhead can attest to that. And why no, get off me! It. Get off me! No, get but off I me! Well, I'm a switch. Cute. There's gotta be rules. What rules, you sons of bitches? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. You know not of what I think. No Tinder for anyone except Riley? No, I'm good. No, Tinder is, um, meh. I mean, if someone's fine, if someone does use it, that's, that's you know, cool for you, but no. I'm not interested in Tinder or Grindr or any of no, those uh, no, 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 no. Anybody don't need... remember Plenty of Fish? You... Oh, God, yeah. My friends used to use that. Hmm. What was that, Misty? You don't need Tinder to find yourself a boyfriend or a girlfriend. You want to go find yourself a boyfriend or a girlfriend? Oh, I don't know. How about you go have a fucking life? Damn. <laughs> I but you see, the females are all brainwashed and they don't want me. <laughs> that's because that's they're filled with lies and then... Fucking uh... incel. Elliot Roger, piece of shit. Oh, punch. God, Elliot Rogers. Poster boy, absolute mm -hmm. poster boy. Yeah. Why don't girls? Why don't girls date? Why don't girls not like me? <laughs> I'm a nice guy. Make oh her... god, yeah, the quote-unquote nice guys. Uh, full disclosure: I used to be a nice guy in high school, and I hate myself every day for that period of my life. Like, oh, uh, I, I treat you like a human being, therefore you must date me. Yeah, what, what kind of fucking? Shit, what kind that? of logic is that? Oh, Misty, we live in the internet. Having a life is impossible. That is so not true! <laughs> you, can, you can have a life outside of the internet. It's called going outside. Or have you I'll not seen... Grass. Or have you not seen the sun in, uh, in three I years? I have to mow grass. Here comes the sun. Do do fucking do 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 fucking do <laughs> Here comes the sun, and now say, see, I, see, I told you, go out and touch grass. I <laughs> <laughs> butchered a fucking Beatles song. Oh, uh, that's how out of touch I am. I forgot that was a Beatles song. You son of a... Well, no, well, I'm about to utter blasphemy. I'm not that much of a Beatles fan. That's I'm fine. perfectly understandable. I've heard some other people say nah. they hate the Beatles. Which, okay. I mean, I'm not Abby Brody levels of bad. I mean, when it comes to me and the Beatles, I haven't listened to all their albums. I just don't care for most of their work. But I have, <laughs> listened, I have listened to the ones that everybody usually talks about. I've listened to the White Album, which... Yeah, I do agree why so many people say that should have been cut down to what to maybe a single album instead of a double album. My dad is a big classic rock guy, so I grew up on all that shit. Beatles, Led Zeppelin, uh, everything up to Nirvana, I think. So I, I love the Beatles and their... I'm actually... I, I made a fucking who. top ten favorite who. songs, which even now... We I don't get fooled choices. again! Yeah, I mean... You know, Riley, I'm actually surprised that, despite you saying that, you did not get into Pink Floyd. I, I liked them, and I would hear them every now and again, but, like, I, I appreciated them more as I got older from when I was younger. Okay, understandable. The thing I, always, I, remember... Remem the thing I always remembered from Pink Floyd when I was a kid was the, uh, the Wall song. Uh, the Wall Part 2. We don't need no education. It's funny because so many people thought that song was basically telling people, yeah, don't take an education. 
but that isn't no. what Slot was trying to say. There was, it was, there Roger, was a story going on behind it. Yeah. I mean, not only that, but Roger Waters, in essence, was saying, no, the entire message of the song is we don't want this education. Because he based the song from an experience from his old elementary, from his old um, grammar school, where he was trying to be creative, and the teacher basically punished him for being creative because they didn't want him. They just wanted him to be a stiffer, upper lip kid, and that's it. They punished him for being creative, in essence. So you're saying they had a conflict of interest? Pretty much. No. Fuck off. Why would you even punish a kid for being creative? What is wrong with being creative? Everyone should be creative. Why don't? Uh, why do we all have to be boring? British schools were very strict back then. Like, yeah, really strict back then. The Smith song of the master, the master heads ritual in particular mentioned that. Yeah, well, no, fa no offense, Eddie, baby. I'm sure you are a great teacher uh, to your children, but, but, but that's just that's just stupid. You should encourage the kids to be creative. Don't, uh, don't discourage them. I mean, to be fair, oh. this was back in the fifth, like in the fifties and sixties. So times have changed, thankfully. Oh, Thanks. another band I would listen to a lot with my dad was the Dire Straits. What's a Dire Strait? Uh, they're known for the Sultans of Swing. And, um, oh. I want my MTV. All those guys. Money for Nothing, that's what it was called. Money for Nothing, yeah, that too. The, the, like, the song, like, the some band. people argue that it has an age well because they're saying things like, that little faggot with the earring and the mig up. Like, it's supposed to be a, like, play on words. Because, like, in the, the 80s, best. in the 80s, uh, makeup was heavily, uh, like, a huge part for music videos. I mean, God, yeah, like, just saying a that's story. what it was kind of like, the I whole grunge the... era scene, where they were just, like, pointing out how phony they were song, because of all the makeup and shit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hi, uh, I'm Keyframe. I'm sorry, I just hear that, it's like, huh. Hi, Keyframe! We're annoying oh, I... your boyfriend! Okay. <laughs> you act like this is news, Misty. <laughs> she does it too. No, I'm not acting like, like it's like it's news. I'm 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 just I I d I don't know what Wait, I'm doing. I don't, <laughs> know. I don't even know what's going on. Squish no, but you have balls and arrows. I mean, true. Yeah, I squish, squishes you and sits there. on your head. Cute. 